Welcome Joe. back. Welcome back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. Okay, so look, you got to go out and check out check some movies. Check them out. We got some great movies out there that you want to see this spring and this summer coming up. So now, Stephanie. Okay, so we're here with Ms. Brenda Prophet. And uh, if you don't know, Ms. Prophet has had um, an influence on a lot of people who, um, namely students, right, in the Absolutely. Cleveland Public Schools. She yes. is somebody's teacher. I know. I know yes. Somebody's that's right. teacher. Yes. yes. And so Was that yours? <laughs> <laughs> But um, okay. you know what? We are talking about Antoine Fisher, yes. who um, came up in foster care here in Cleveland, and then you were his teacher. You had a tremendous impact on him, Ooh. and he has gone on to do just some tremendous things. He's doing quite well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So again, what was it like um, to be, a, what, was it, what was Antoine like in class? Very quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, he would get into things. And I would usually catch him. <laughs> but he was very, very quiet, very, very reserved, um, very secretive mm -hmm. because there were certain things that were going on in, in his, his life. life. Okay. Right. And so he would mask them. Mm -hmm. So he was very, very good at masking his, e his emotions, masking some of the things that were going on at home. And the, the classroom, like for many students, that becomes your home away from home. Mm -hmm, and as mm -hmm. you said in the book, the students become your brothers and sisters in this new home that you are making sure that is yours in your life. Right. So now, Antoine, um, we're going to talk about this a little bit later, but he has okay. two new projects coming out. But just for the people who don't know, the first book was called Finding Fish, mm -hmm. right. which was then turned into a movie starring yes. Denzel Washington yes. and Derek Luke, who has now really, he's just he's blown blossomed. up too. Yes. He has blossomed and yes. he's doing quite well also. Yeah, yeah. Well, I must say, you know, Ms. Proper, you have, you know, you look fabulous. Thank you, um, doll. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's been some years since we have seen you. So, but so we can share with our viewing audience, you know, we're going to take a quick, let's take another look, Jeff. Okay. If you can run some of that beautiful footage from our first visit of Miss Prophet here on the studio. The first screenplay I wrote was uh, Finding Fish, the movie. We've changed the name, but we haven't gotten a name for it. The second wow, screenplay I did was, it was called Scouts Honor, mm -hmm. the story of how black children were able to become Boy Scouts. Then I wrote uh, a story called My Summer Friend for HBO New York. Awesome. Then I. I uh, was the last writer on Rush Hour, and I did the production rewrite. That was rush, the first Rush Hour. Then I did, uh, uh, m no, that was Money Talks I did. Mm -hmm. I was better to rewrite it. And then I did uh, Rush Hour. Then I did uh, Double O Soul okay. movie in for the Universal. Then I did uh, Trigger Happy for Universal. Okay. Then and Jelly Bean for Warner Brothers. Brothers. Okay. Okay, right. well, so yeah, that was uh, quite some time ago. A lot of things. And he had a lot of projects and, and, and books yeah, well, and, and screenplays and things going on. And there are still a lot of projects and, and screenplays. He's still writing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, still writing uh, plays. He's, he's written a play. Okay. It's a one act play that he's thinking about doing. Okay. Um, so he's working on that. He is um, doing some teaching at UCLA. Mm -hmm. of writing. Okay. Um, he's doing a writing course to help inspire other young people, other persons who are interested, so that they would know how to write. I'm, I must say, you know, it, you, you seem to know a lot. I mean, he must keep up with you quite a bit. Yes. We do keep up with one another. <laughs> okay. We okay. really do. Um, and, uh, you know, some of my, my own children have visited his home. Okay, wow. So, uh, you know, they're brothers and well, sisters. Well, let me ask you this, and then we got to really yeah. talk about these two projects. Yes. Okay. Real quick, how, how does it feel to have had such an impact on Antoine and then some of your other students as well? Mind-boggling. Like? <laughs> Mind-boggling. Because, you know, my mom was a teacher too, and, and there are certain things that, you know, she would pass down. There is a way that you're supposed to act. Mm -hmm. in the classroom. One of the things that you do is you have an empty desk and chair in the room. 
and you're teaching to the children and to the empty desk and, and chair in the classroom. And that empty desk and chair represents one of your children. So you're teaching one of your children. Okay. And have to you teach them are like making sure your own. that yes. they are yours. Okay. Everybody mm -hmm. in the room belongs to you. So we got okay. some projects coming so up, So let's right? talk about this new book that he has. And I love the title. It's like, A Boy Ought to Know How to Tie a Tie. Yes. What is that mm. about? Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is something, the one of, the, one of his loves, you know, and what it's about actually is making sure that a boy knows how to do certain things. There's, there should be uh, a person in his life, maybe a man in his life, because all women do not know how to tie ties. Mm -hmm. So there are certain things that have to be um, manifested in, in a young boy that the only way that he can get it is through the guise of a man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that is one of the things that he is really adamant about people understanding. Yeah, and I think that's coming out maybe April 20th, or is it May 20th? It is coming out, I think it's gonna be out in May. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And then also, he, I think he spoke about this, I guess, originally it started out as an HBO thing. Let's talk about it real quick, because um, the, the movie is My Summer Friend. And that, it seems like it's a very poignant movie with a really good message, so. Yeah, and um, you know, one of the things that he was telling me about, too, was that some of the things that he's doing, you're not going to recognize them mm -hmm. as being something you've already seen. Okay. Because the characters are not going to be people who've been in the movie or anything like that. This is a complete takeoff okay. of some of his fondest memories. Okay. Of well, I um, know I can't wait to see you it. Know, you know yeah. what? But Ladies and gentlemen, so again, much. this yeah. is Brenda Prophet. She she can teach her own lesson. She can, <laughs> yes, I can. You know, she can write her own plans. You know, she is somebody's teacher um, for over how many years? Over forty. Over, over forty years. Yes. Been educating. She knows her stuff. Um, so yes. thank you for what you do here in Cleveland and, and being a, a, a great inspiration to Antoine. Yeah. Well, thank you so Thanks much. Thanks again. Okay, we are going to take a quick commercial break. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, Cynthia and Nicole are going to talk with uh, some folks. or About making music. Uh, making music, All melody man management. I was going to say melody magic. <laughs> melody management. So stay with us. We'll be right back with another 